This year, British Science Week runs from the 5th to the 14th of March, and Wiltshire Libraries is looking at scientists who lived or worked in the Wiltshire area and whose work has made a definite impact on our lives. So who is our local science hero? Our famous scientist was born in 1800 and lived and worked in beautiful Laycock Abbey. His name is William Henry Fox Talbot. William Fox Talbot was incredibly accomplished in so many areas. He invented a microscope called the polarising microscope. He found a method for measuring the distance between fixed stars and he worked on the linear motor. He also pioneered photo engraving and was an influential botanist. His greatest achievement, however, was the invention of the positive negative process from which all photography now stems. You could say this all came about because of a honeymoon trip he made to picturesque Lake Como in Italy. It was the fashion at that time to sketch or paint the lovely scenery to take home as a reminder. But unfortunately, Fox Talbot felt that his drawing skills were not very good. However, this did make him wonder whether he could use light instead to capture the image. When he returned to Laycock, he set about experimenting with this idea. He saw that a piece of paper coated with salt and then brushed with a solution of silver nitrate would darken in the sun. With this, he created beautiful images of botanical specimens like ferns and leaves. He called this method photogenic drawing. Fox Talbot carried on trying to improve the finished product and he started putting sheets of light sensitive paper in boxes like this called Camera Obscura, a type of pinhole camera with a lens inside. When he placed these around the grounds of Laycock Abbey, his wife thought they looked like mouse traps. With these Camera Obscura and with the light sensitive paper, Fox Talbot produced the first ever photographic negative in the world. It shows a lattice window in Laycock Abbey called the Oriel window. The problem was it took a long time for Fox Talbot to produce an image, up to an hour, so he needed to find a way to reduce the exposure time. He carried on experimenting and found that a liquid called gallic acid solution did just this. In 1840, it allowed him to produce a photographic image in just a matter of seconds. He patented this method, calling it the callotype process. The word kalo means beautiful in Greek. A kalotype produced a negative and a positive image, as the picture of the tree shows, and this was a major invention. In fact, it became the forerunner of photography for the next 150 years. Yet further improvement was still needed to stop the images fading. They needed to be better fixed to last longer. And the answer to this was given to Fox Talbot by the eminent scientist Sir John Herschel, seen here. If you're interested in the name of the chemical Herschel recommended, it's called hyposulfate of soda. And this is still used today to fix black and white photographs that have been developed from film. After Fox Talbot's findings were made public, packets of light sensitive paper were produced commercially and made available to buy. Also, improvements were made to the lenses used in cameras so that the quality of the pictures got better. Fox Talbot didn't actually achieve commercial success from his work, but his pioneering scientific mind led to one of the most influential inventions of all time. He's certainly regarded with local pride as this statue in Chippenham shows. So the next time you look at your cherished photographs, it's worth remembering the man who made photography possible. And if you want to find out more, many of the images shown here are kept in the Wiltshire History Centre in Chippenham, which is definitely worth a visit once it reopens. And there is lots of material at Corsham Library to be discovered, including local history books. There are also free online resources such as Access to Research, Ancestry and Know Your Place.